Hello there and welcome back to this video series on control systems. In the past few videos, we have considered frequency response, the overall design procedure and philosophy of design in frequency domain, namely shaping the body plot. And uh, we have also seen uh, what is a lead compensator, how it contributes phase lead, how it can be used to increase the phase margin. And also we have seen the procedure of uh, design using a lead compensator in detail. We have seen that a lead compensator is a high pass filter and the example clearly uh, illustrate, uh, illustrated the uh, concept of a lead compensator. It goes without saying that if you are thorough with the frequency response and body plot and the design of lead compensator using body plot, uh, the present video will be very clear. After watching this video, a student will be able to specify the structure of the lag compensator and specify the frequency response of lag compensator. We begin uh, the discussion by considering the transfer function of a lag compensator which is uh, indicated here which is very similar to that of a lead compensator except that this theta is greater than 1. So the denominator is heavier. The sinusoidal transfer function of the lag compensator is given here and we read, write that this dc of j omega is made out of two parts k1 and g1. This g1 is the part here. That is we consider it to consist of two parts. One a constant part, second a dynamic part. The dynamic part is given over here. Just as in the case of a lead compensator, we compute k1 first to satisfy the steady state requirement and then go and design the dynamic part. The body plot of the lag compensator is shown over here. At low frequencies, um, at low frequencies you have uh, no uh, amplification or attenuation, whereas at high frequencies it is attenuated and the phase has a dip in it. Uh, looking at it, we say that it is a low pass filter. Um, is, uh, this is a low pass filter and the attenuation at high frequencies provides a sufficient phase margin. We will illustrate this with an example. And the phase lag aspect of this lag compensator is not uh, of very big concern since the pole and zero of the con uh, co compensator are chosen very close to each other. In summary, we say that the lag compensator is a low pass filter. Uh, sufficient phase margin is provided by attenuation at high frequencies and the pole and zero of the compensator are chosen close to each other and hence the phase lag occurs in a very small frequency region. Hence, this is of little concern. I think that's all we have for now. Have a great day.